my channel. I hope you guys are having a great week. To all the new subscribers out there, my name is Rachel Ann, but you may call me Shin. And today, again, my husband will be joining us. None other than Martin. Hello, everybody. Magandang hapon. Wow! Magandang hapon. Good afternoon, guys. So, yes, today we will be talking about our love story part two. We just thought it would make sense to just continue on and share with you the rest of the, the love story. So if you haven't seen the part one yet, check that out and then come back to this video so this will make sense to you guys. And also, a lot of them have been saying that... Shin talks too much. Yes, I'm so talkative. I'm yeah. super dal dal. Diba? Do you agree? A little bit. But anyway, I will do my best to just zip my mouth and let you do the talking. I might ask you questions along the way. Okay, let's start from August 2017. <laughs> this was when I went back to the Philippines from yes. New York to visit my family. Early August, I remember. Er early August. Okay, take it away. Um, so thinking back, so we mentioned last week that we were doing the pre-marriage course. And I think that's when I really was starting to think about proposing and when that would happen. And I was kind of looking ahead. Obviously, I was, I was coming to the Philippines to meet the family in August, which was very exciting for Shin's yes. birthday. And that was kind of the next step to meet the, meet the family, of course. I actually had lunch with a friend, and I was uh, more of a mentor. His name is Alan. And I was telling him about Shin, and you know, I, f I was kind of opening up about, about her, and, f and like, that I feel like she is, she's definitely the one that I want to marry. And, uh, you know, I was telling you I'm going to the Philippines to meet the family. And then I may be down the line in London sometime I'll propose. If all goes well, meeting Shin's dad and, and everyone. So then he's, he, he kind of suggested, well, if you're going to the Philippines and you're meeting the family, why don't you just propose while you're there? Good job, Adam. And <laughs> so after that dinner i was i started to kind of think about the ring first wow. um i reached out to your wiggy in saigon who yes. did some research mm. for me in um, inside information on what shin wants and so that was very helpful i put actually put a fake name in my phone for uh, him so really? he, was, he was texting me and it came up with some name that you wouldn't know oh can i so interrupt that was you good. There. Yeah, go yeah his name is danny he asked me what ring I want out of the blue. So we were just talking about, he knows that I was, you know, dating Martin at that time. And he said, um, oh, what, what engagement ring do you like? Do you have like a dream ring? So I showed him some of the few stuffs I liked, few stuffs, a few stuff I'd like. And then, you know, I wasn't really thinking that he, he would have a chance mm -hmm. to talk to you because he doesn't really know you personally, right? Yeah. So anyway, go. <laughs> yeah, and the way that I was able to, I ran into him after the show one time and got his number and that's how I kind of started to communicate mm -hmm. with him. Then we, I had another friend who, who makes rings in our church so I went and saw him and uh, the process began. Uh, my sister helped me a lot, so shout out to her um, okay, for yeah. helping me choose the design. And, yes. uh, and also Louis, I think, did some investigating yeah. to our friend Louis. So Daniel it was a team Louis. effort to figure out what Shin wants. And that was a great process. That was obviously a really like cool thing just to do. It's a one, once in a lifetime thing, right? Yeah, for men um, enough. Yeah, so that, yeah. learning about diamonds and, and all this business was, was fun. <laughs> and really exhilarating to get that ready to mm. take with me to the Philippines. Mm. Then the next step was obviously planning the engagement itself. So did you plan this while you were still in New York? All in New course. York. So okay. all in New York, you were in Philippines, or you were still in New York for a little while, but then you left. Oh yeah, yeah. But I finished it kind of when, when you were already away. Um, okay. Then I started the process of the engagement itself, yeah. um, and I knew we were going to Barakai. Yes, with my family. With the family. So I was looking around the Barakai, trying to find somewhere where we could go and I could propose. Yeah. And 
with not a lot of people around. So, I, and I mean, I don't, I've never been to the Philippines, so. Oh yeah, of course. I just had to do some research and I had Filipinos helping me. Good. Some Filipino yeah. friends. They put me in touch with the filter pen who are the, yes, who helped us Patty, do the yeah. video because I wanted it filmed. That was very important, having it filmed and Shangri-La. We did in Shangri-La. I reached out to them to organize a dinner and they were amazing. Mm. And then obviously I didn't want people to see. So I was kind of, it was mm. a nerve wracking experience because I don't want anyone to find out. So, so these people knew it was happening uh -huh. and I was scared there would be a, a leak. So I, I didn't tell a lot of people. So yeah, planned that. Um, and then I flew to the Philippines on the 30th. Yeah, you arrived the Your day birthday. before my birthday, which was August 30th. Um, and then I surprised you at the airport. I remember that my brother was driving me to the airport and it, he didn't know I was going to pick you up. The next day we celebrated the birthday at my place with the whole family, mm. all my friends were there. Yeah. Um, you guys are so special. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you all. And Shepherd Apakalaba Kalaba Sayo. Thank you. 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 And then next day, September 1st, we flew na to Baraka. Oh, yeah. The second, I think. I don't remember. Maybe a couple days after. Yeah. And can I just share with them like how I felt? Of course, but, please. <laughs> because I feel like I'm going to interrupt you. I feel like I'm not no, going to stop. Go ahead. Um, yeah, when we were in Boracay, for some reason, I was hoping, I'm not really expecting that you will propose, but I was hoping that he will propose to me because he's there you know he's there with my family already so i feel like it's the perfect time it's a perfect place for him to do that it's so funny pa during my birthday when he handed me his gift it was like a, a was it a tiffany box like pag open. It's <laughs> it's so funny in my head i was like oh my gosh is this a ring is this a ring pag open it was a necklace <laughs> i mean i love it i love it but part of me is like i wish it's a ring it's so 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 funny but um I was like, Shin, stop it. I was, you know, stopping myself from thinking that thought. But anyway, so when we went to Boracay, the funniest part is every single morning, we stayed at Discovery Tours. Every morning, they were building this tent. I mean, when they have like special events or like dinner or proposals, they will do this special thing. So every morning, they're preparing something. So I feel like, oh, is this for me? Maybe Martin is proposing to me. <laughs> it's so funny. So every time I see people preparing something, I would fix my my hair. I would um, iron or curl my hair. Waiting for the surprise. Waiting for the surprise because I feel like, oh, maybe this is for me. But I was just assuming it wasn't. <laughs> Before the last day, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stop. Actually, on the last day, I'm, I said, I'm going to stop. You thought it wasn't happening. No, 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 no. So I just didn't assume i yeah i didn't think of anything after that because i'm like i'm tired like shit stop assuming feeling ere <laughs> so yeah tell them about the how how did you ask my parents naman? oh that was hard because i think i was just met your dad so i was trying to get him get to know him get it because everyone's always together so i was trying to get him alone to, just to get to know him a little bit and maybe somehow figure out how to ask him but it was it was kind of hard like i i couldn't really pinpoint a time mm -hmm. you know because it would be we're they would wonder <laughs> why do you you know why do you want to yeah. have alone time with me uh -huh. you know? so eventually i think i mentioned to you to oz i think to my brother yes 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 yes, yes. For, yeah. for me to have some time with your mom and mm -hmm. dad and then so i had a conversation with them and t told them what i'd like to do on this trip and if I have their blessing to do it. Yeah, I think I have a photo of that. Yeah, yeah. and so that was <laughs> quite special. Uh, I was very happy because I was I was nervous about that conversation as anyone would be. Of course. Uh, what yeah. did they say? How did they react? They were just kind of smiling and... Uh, as know, always, the parents are so quiet. Mm, no. Smiling and they said, oh, you know, great. You're probably I'm nervous memory. at that time. You will yeah, I think I just remember, the most important is that they said, okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, do we have a choice? <laughs> uh, so from there, I remember I had to organize a few things still at Shangri-La. So in the mornings I would go on, I would tell you that I'm going on a run. Yes, he so would, I would yeah. take a tricycle there and yes. I would meet with them and I'd tell them, okay, this is how I want it to happen. And yeah. they were amazing. 
And then on the day na, on the day of the dinner. Actually, we had a, I had planned the dinner. Yeah, yeah the and then you said, let's dress up. So I was like, okay. And I, for me, I didn't have nice dress to wear because well, I feel mom like... Was, your mom I've... was trying to find... Oh, really? Your mom was trying to find something for you to wear, I remember. But I feel like because I only prepared, let's say we were there for five days, I only prepared like five dresses like every single day. But the nice ones, I've, I've worn it already during the first four mm. days because I was I hoping uh, that you were also I still me. remember the outfit you wore. <laughs> but by the time you, on that day, that was the last um, That's the outfit, outfit left. left. So I was Luckily. like... Woo! Luckily. But I wasn't really bothered. I was like, oh, I don't need to really fix up for this. You know, it's just a dinner. Guessing I didn't want to expect anything, you know. So yeah, we went. So we went. We went um, to Shangri-La. I didn't know where we were going. It was oh, a surprise. Yeah, it yes, was a surprise. We... When we got there, where's everyone? Because the, the set up no was by the beach. Um, they set up like a, a cushions. Cushions like with a heart. Yeah. Heart. With a heart shape. Sa, ano, sa Champagne. Sand, which have, oh, oh. So we go, it's wow, nice. so shall. Like, this is so posh. And I was just thinking maybe because, you know, it's Shangri-La. It's, it's really private and intimate, you know. I wasn't really thinking that it will be a proposal. And then I was chilling there, taking videos of the view, photos. And they were texting because the sun was going down mm. and the camera crew had to capture the moment. So they were texting me. <laughs> there was a certain spot I needed to be so that they could get the, the moment. Yes. So I had to be by the water in a certain area. So I was getting nervous. They were texting me and you were just laying on the cushions. I was <laughs> so comfortable. I was like, yeah. And you were like, come on, let's take a photo, right? Yeah, stressful. And I was trying to figure out how to get the words out. But it, uh, it happened. Know, it happened. We should show them a little clip of the engagement. Here you go. So we need to finish the week the uh, time together with a bang, right? Like, and it's starting to rain. I feel like God is here. He's been Do you want to spend the rest of your days together? Yeah. We can do it. It'll happen. But first, I have to tell you how much I love you, but I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Yeah. <laughs> we married the baby. <laughs> When? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Me. <laughs> okay. And then it was all massive relief and joy and happiness after that. At that point, it wasn't clear to me what really happened because I was like wondering, what, what are you saying? Like, you were kind of nervous. We were having this speech going on. <sighs> but I was like, Huh? Like, I'm I'm not really following, uh, you know? What's happening here? What's happening? And also because I wasn't expecting anymore. So I was like, what, what is he saying? Why is he nervous? And then he, you were just saying, you know, like, you're, you're leaving again, blah, blah, blah. So I, I thought you were just doing like a nice speech because it's a nice setup. <laughs> and then even when you knelt down, I was like, why is he kneeling? I wasn't really, yeah, I wasn't really thinking na that was it. Everything was blurry right. na. And then when he opened his jacket, kanya, pag open niya, may kinuha siya, he got this box. No nakita ko yung box, it just, it wasn't really registering yeah. in my head. Yun na, pag open niya, then there is that ring. And this ring, I saw it. 
I was, I, I just couldn't believe it. And then, you know, parang gusto ko nang <laughs> lie down in the sun and celebrate. <laughs> and then the camera crew came out and we took photos. That was fun. Out of nowhere. They yeah. were really good. So thanks to Filter Pan Studio. Thank yeah. you guys for being so amazing. Video they hid photos, really yeah. well. Yeah. So yes, that was the engagement. And then we went back to... We had a welcome celebration from all your friends. It was so funny. Yeah, yeah, that was the, awesome. For some reason, it was just a you know perfect timing. My friends, they were actually there in as well for a holiday and it just so happened that we were there as well so they gave us a little after party kind of thing really really fun and then of course the wedding happened you know it was really fun as well it was very intimate we only had like 100 guests we don't want to get into details now because i feel like we need an hour at least to talk about the whole thing but yeah for some reason i really wanted to delay the wedding no after yeah. the engagement it was really Not stressful happening. for me. i just opened hamilton in london and there were a lot of pressure for me Tapos the wedding is going to be in the Philippines pa, di ba? We were long distance. I was in New York, you were in London. I was going mad. Like, I was going crazy. I was like, I can't do this because I really wanted to be hands-on when it comes to wedding preparation. So I felt like I'm not doing much, you know? But thank God for the team again, Tina Barreto and the whole team. They Amazing. really helped us. We didn't really have to do much. Just um, make decisions, which make is this, yeah. hard when you... And we don't know each other that well yet. <laughs> I know, because we were so new, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it was really tough. But I told Martin, can we just delay the wedding until I finish Hamilton for a year, right? Yeah, I was. I kind of pushed the date. I was pushing for the, for like the early, April, as early, early as possible. And I was like, no, 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 can we do it like after a year? Yeah. But then, why did you decide to do it that early? Well, I'm, I'm, I guess I was a believer in short engagement. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I mean, God was really good in lining things up for me to move with my company yes. to from new york to london so they they i was amazing but i just felt that i couldn't move you know i, I just felt like when i move we should be married and we should live together at that point that's we didn't right. want to live together before marriage being married uh that's just our we don't want to fast person, track <laughs> yeah personal conviction so yeah it was it was fast um, and it was a crazy time, but we we're didn't glad. Really, yeah, we didn't really take it slow. We, <laughs> I said last week, uh, we took it slow, but actually it was like a very yeah. quick love story. Yeah. <laughs> so we moved to London and then we flew to flew to Philippines and got married by April 18th. Oh yeah, April 18th. I mean, yeah, that was so special. All my family, your family from South Africa, New York. Everyone flew there. My family from Canada, from the provinces like Iloilo, Masbate, you know, they all went there. Such a special night for everyone, for everyone to meet for the first time <laughs> as well. Yeah, that was the engagement and wedding yeah. story. And one question for you, why did you say yes? What were the reasons? Because I knew now the first day I saw you, the oh, <laughs> I was at peace and I still am. During the whole process, during the the courtship, like meeting each other, the courtship, the engagement, I was at peace. Like there was no doubt at all that this isn't right, you know, because I think that's a, a lesson as well, not just for us, but for everyone who's dating someone right now or who's planning to date someone in the future that um, I think it's a good sign if there's no doubt you know if you're feeling like at peace about this guy or about this woman that's a good sign that this is the one but if there is one hint of doubt think twice guys i've been there <laughs> i've been there you know like if there's doubt na may mga bots kayo let's say this guy medyo alanganin but he's mabait he's guapo or he has a job naman. I'll settle with this guy. I think do not settle for less, you know? And I've learned. I've got loads of heartbreaks. But then when I met Martin, I 
there was no doubt at all and like I knew he's the one what? Uh. what did you uh, what can you say to everyone um, who's planning to get married or settle down one day yes I think everyone's journey is different but for myself there was there was like three to five things that were like the non-negotiables or the you know the deal breakers and what else? Um, so faith, obviously, both being Christians, mm -hmm. um, that was number one, finding someone who's a Christian. Mm -hmm. um, secondly is that you love family. Mm -hmm. I could see, you know, you love your family and, and family is important to you. And that was very important to me too in our culture where we grew up and mm -hmm. tight-knit family. So those two, th I think those two things were really the, the only two main ones where I, that I needed to say, yes, this is personality and, and humor was important and you have and you were you're, you're funny you oh know? we're funny yeah. you're I funny, laugh funny. At you all day you know yeah. 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 <laughs> personality humor and just i think fun right you, you're gonna spend the rest of your life together um yeah. it should be fun and you should be laughing a lot not too that. serious yeah. and there's a lot of fights too but a lot of a fights lot of guys marriage is not easy yeah. if you think marriage is easy it's not it's hard work we'll talk about that next time Yes. We'll get into like deep conversations next time. <laughs> I think if you know those things, then you, you're you ready to go. Um, yeah. But everyone's journey is different. I think some people need more time. We, I've just felt, oh, I yeah. think, you know, God's time is always perfect. So mm -hmm. Yeah, I really think it's just so important for you to connect with God. I mean, us as believers, faith is really important for us, right? Mm -hmm. So hearing from God that this is the one is so important rather than... Yes hearing from our own heart because our hearts are deceiving yeah. <laughs> you know we can't really rely on our hearts all the time yeah. so it's so important important to know god's voice and to hear from him like Eto na po ba yun, lord is this the right one for me um and having friends and community to support uh, you yeah along the journey and get getting to know the person that because your, your best friends know you well and they would be able to say yeah this is this looks right and this feels right yeah so. Sometimes those things are important as well. Yeah, what, it's great to have like someone to see like from, from the outside, outside, from the outside, right? Yes. And also, I just want to share like during the wedding day, rewind long, I saw a rainbow. Like it was supposed to rain the whole day on the wedding day, but there was a rainbow, and I felt like that was God, God saying yes. You know, it's it was like a promise, mm -hmm. like a stamp from God. Like I approve. <laughs> you know, right. it's really special. But so yeah, Ooh, it's just, that's, you know, that's that. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, thank you. I and talked a little bit more this time. I think. I, I hope, hope I, so. I hope I didn't interrupt you that much. That was fun. Yeah, thank but you. thank you, thank you for thank sharing. You. All thank the... you guys for watching. Yes. And God bless and talk soon. God bless you guys. Thank you. And hopefully next week, we'll be sharing some... I don't know. I really don't know what to share. Surprises. <laughs> surprises. Yes. We'll surprise you next week, guys. But um, thank you again for your time. I know this is so long. <laughs> this is such a long video. But thank you for watching and for your patience. And yeah, we love you guys. We appreciate you all. God bless you. Bye. Bye.